Okay, I'm in the main lobby of the hospital. We wanted to show you several things in here about, uh, well, actually four years ago, we began the planning and we constructed some new facilities. You're gonna see the West Pavilion. Uh, in the West Pavilion includes uh, eight new operating rooms, uh, our new uh, cardiovascular intensive care unit, our new surgical medical intensive care unit. We're very proud of all those facilities. We also added four floors to this structure. That allowed us to achieve several things. We uh, have now all private rooms in, in the bed tower, uh, which most people don't want a roommate when they're in the hospital. And we also have uh, consolidated all of our uh, women and children service on the third floor. So that includes pediatrics, labor and delivery, and postpartum and GYN are all on the, uh, the, the third floor. And then we did some other internal renovations in surgery to uh, provide some support space. So that includes all the, the kind of the highlights uh, here on, in the main hospital building. There are a couple other areas that I think uh, most employees come in contact with. We want to show you one's our employee pharmacy. It's inside the hospital. Uh, we do have a, a, a discount program so you can receive your pharmaceuticals at a, at a better rate, uh, and that's available to employees. And then uh, our human resources department, which is uh, just right down the street. We have it in a, in a house we purchased several years ago, and, and you'll interact with human resources from time to time. Okay, we also have uh, several buildings behind the hospital. Uh, we have our wound treatment center. That uh, is a, a service uh, that provides uh, help for those folks that have chronic wounds to provide care to help those wounds. We have a couple of hyperbaric chambers and physicians that man that. Right next to that building, we have a, a warehouse type building. We, it's used as a warehouse for most of the supplies that come into the hospital, come into that facility. They then are broken down and then uh, come into the hospital. And we also have uh, one of our three ambulance stations. We have the ambulance station, the main one here on our Opelika campus. We also have one off of uh, Pumphrey Avenue and Shug Jordan in Auburn. And then we have one off of 28431 in, uh, in Smith Station. Next to that, we have a large building that uh, originally was built as our laundry. We don't do our own laundry anymore. And now it houses uh, the area where our dirty linens come in, our trash comes in, and then our clean linens come in. So it's a distribution site. Also, we have Dandyland. Dandyland is our child care center. That's available to our employees who have children. It provides a, a high quality child care for our employees. We also have one other area I want to talk about, kind of on behind the hospital on Waverly Parkway. Uh, several years ago, the state began this great program to help with infant mortality, to help Medicaid moms get prenatal care. We actually hold the contract for uh, Russell, uh, Barber, uh, Chambers, Lee, and Macon counties. Our sales in the hospital in Valley, the only two that deliver babies, obviously we do the majority of those deliveries. And we provide prenatal care in that facility and we also do it uh, every week in Tuskegee and every week in, in Phoenix City. Great, uh, great program. We're now visiting uh, Home Med, uh, which provides uh, durable medical equipment. That's you know, walkers and chairs and beds. And they also provide uh, BiPAP and CPAP for folks that uh, have sleep apnea. Okay, I'm sitting in one of the chairs here at Home Med that are used, uh, I don't know, probably for big boys to sleep when they're watching TV at night. We have several facilities in the medical arts complex. They include our business office operation, uh, all of our uh, patient account representatives, uh, we have schedulers, we have billers are all uh, housed in, in, the, in the medical arts complex. We also have our uh, toxicology and lab outreach. Toxicology does forensic uh, testing. We do it mainly for pain clinics in uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Uh, lab outreach is a service mainly to our own medical staff where we uh, get lab specimens and then run them in our lab and report back those lab results to the physicians. We also have the Health Resource Center, which is right adjacent to the medical arts complex. Uh, this is our uh, community and hospital-based educational complex. We use it for hospital-based education, but we also allow the community to use that facility. Okay, we're entering in Rehab Works uh, Opelika. We provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy in this facility. Okay, this is uh, their home, uh, a little tight for space. In fact, they'll be moving uh, fairly soon to uh, 
new locations because uh, of the capacity at uh, this particular uh, facility. Back last summer and they uh, worked with me. Okay, we finish here at uh, Rehab Works. We're gonna jump in the car. We're gonna go to East Alabama Psychiatric Services, which is our two psychiatrists work for the hospital providing outpatient uh, psychiatric mental health care to our community. Uh, then we'll go uh, and visit uh, a couple of our assisted living facilities. We, we bought these uh, several years ago. We have Azalea Place, which has uh, assisted living uh, and independent living, and then Magnolia Place, which has uh, assisted living and independent living. They also do specialty care at Magnolia Place for those folks that have uh, Alzheimer's and need uh, more direct care. We'll also visit uh, Auburn Diagnostic Imaging. That's our primary outpatient imaging facility. We have our uh, PET CT scanner, our 64 slice CT scanner, our open bore MRI, our, our digital mammography, all of that's uh, at uh, Auburn Diagnostic Imaging. We also do uh, pre-op uh, preparation for patients going to uh, surgery are done also at that facility. Okay, we're now on the Oak Park campus and uh, we're mighty proud of HIT. Over here we have our traditional nursing home. Uh, 70, 75 beds in there. We also have a few uh, assisted living beds uh, in Oak Park. And then we have uh, this facility over here. And we also have uh, support space for some of our uh, administrative folks that uh, manage uh, all of our, our uh, senior services are based uh, out here. Uh, now we jump back in the car. We're going to Auburn Medical Park on the other side of uh, East University. We're going to take a uh, extended tour of uh, Health Plus and Bethany House, uh, two of our facilities there, and then a brief tour of Camellia Place. Camellia Place was the first uh, assisted living and independent uh, living facility we developed uh, in the mid-90s when we developed uh, Auburn Medical Park. It's a modern comprehensive facility and uh, provides a great service to our community. Now we're getting ready to uh, visit uh, Bethany House. Uh, this facility was built about 10 years ago. Uh, most of the money came from the community through contributions to our foundation. It is a 10 bed facility and uh, it's one of the first and one of the fewest uh, in the state. So let's go in and look at it. And if you remember, Bethany was uh, the place where uh, Lazarus uh, rose from the dead, where Jesus rose him from the dead. So it does have symbolic name that we chose, uh, Bethany House. It is a 10 bed facility. It's uh, primarily for two purposes, for families that a loved one is at the end of their life and it's too difficult at home or don't want to be in the hospital for care. And then those families that need respite care for a loved one that they're taking care of, uh, but they just need a little break, need to come to Bethany for three or four days so the family can have some downtime. This is our, our chapel and uh, we have kind of this tree of, of life and these folks have uh, donated money and we put a little leaf uh, recognizing uh, their family or friend or, or loved one. Uh, here we have Miss Debbie Dowdell, she kind of runs this place. Uh, she tells me what to do and I do it. Uh, in here, you can see all the folks that uh, donated money to make this a reality. We have a little meeting place. We have a couple other areas like that. Uh, we have a nice garden outside with some uh, water type fountains, which is soothing. We have the ability for massages in this facility. Uh, here we have the, uh, the main uh, nursing station. As you can see, this is one of our rooms. Uh, one of the things we tried to do to make it as home-like as, as possible and as non-institutional as possible. And you can see that. We also have a, a screened-in porch on every one of these rooms. Uh, and actually, you, the doors will open to allow the, the bed to actually go out. Because again, we want that person, if they want to be outside to feel nature, that uh, they have the ability uh, to do that. We're very, very proud of uh, Bethany House and its ministry to our community. Smile. <laughs> okay, now that we've seen uh, Bethany House, uh, the next facility we want to look at also on, at Auburn Medical Park is Health Plus, our wellness fitness facility. Okay, we're now here at uh, Health Plus. I happen to be a member of and I always try to remind new employees, uh, as new employees, I, I think it's in the first 90 days or so of your 
employment, you do get a pretty nice discount to uh, join Health Plus. So you might want to see the folks here at Health Plus. We'll go inside and see the facility. Here we have a child care to open uh, certain times of the day for parents to uh, exercise and uh, bring the child. We have the main uh, desk where you register. Dressing rooms, uh, male over here and female over here. Some of our young patrons here uh, relaxing after exercising. This is kind of the uh, main facility in here. Uh, good morning. As you can see, we have all sorts of uh, equipment uh, in here. We have a, a walking uh, track upstairs, or you could jog also. Uh, we have uh, weight machines uh, over here. Uh, we have upstairs a, a spinning studio for the bikes, and then uh, down here we have an exercise studio where they do the Pilates and the yoga and, and all that sort of thing. So there are lots of classes also that are available besides if you want to do an individual workout. Okay, this is our, our, our pool area. Obviously, you can see it's enclosed, so it's uh, uh, useful uh, year-round. Uh, we have times where you can uh, swim laps. As you can see, this is a, a great facility. I happen to be a member and come here three or four times a week. And as you can tell, look what it's done for me. Uh, right now, we're going to jump in the car again, and we're going to uh, look at our home care, hospice, and AIDS outreach uh, facility. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Kenny. You look good, good as always. <laughs> Hello. Have a great day. Good morning. You, you behaving? Look at her, she runs this place. And this is the Home Care Hospice and AIDS Outreach Building. And we'll kind of take a little tour of all the areas, but we do our outpatient home care and hospice, and then we do uh, AIDS Outreach. So let's uh, go and, and see some of the facilities. We're now entering uh, AIDS Outreach. They've been part of East Alabama Medical Center about four or five years now. And uh, they provide, obviously, care to those folks that uh, have AIDS. Uh, here's young Marilyn Swires, who is the uh, director of AIDS Outreach Force, and uh, they have several social workers and other folks that uh, help the clients here. This is uh, where the nurses and social workers uh, for uh, our uh, hospice part, they do the, the, those hospice patients that are homebound. Uh, earlier we saw Bethany House, but this is uh, the nurses, social workers, aides that uh, take care of hospice patients uh, in their homes. Yesterday we had a number of folks being educated on a new computer system to help them with billing. Here we have a couple of the remedial students trying to, uh, to learn today. Okay, this is uh, the third part of uh, the activities that take place in this building. This is our home care area. This is for, uh, again, folks that are homebound. Uh, we would provide uh, nursing care. We would have uh, AIDS that go into home and then we have different therapies whether it's uh, physical, occupational, speech would go to the home to help people uh, get rehabilitated to get back to a normal lifestyle and we've been doing this for a number of years and you can see some of the, the folks working here. It's like fun, it's like key lime pie or something right here. One of the things I always do is I walk around whether it be in the hospital or uh, on the outside locations if they have food I invite myself to eat some of it. We're now at uh, Dr. Law's office. It's a primary care physician's office providing uh, basic uh, medical care to our community. We're here at Rehab Works Auburn. Uh, we provide outpatient uh, physical therapy uh, services uh, at this particular facility. Okay, I came two days in a row because I heard you weren't here yesterday when I came. I'm sorry, but I'm back. You back? Yeah. Okay, how's everybody doing today? Everybody's great. I'm doing well. I know that's not running, is it? It's running. Is it running? We do in America's Funniest Home Videos. Okay, this is Auburn University Medical Clinic. Uh, we manage student health for the university under contract and all the physicians and 
nurses and technicians and business office people all work for East Alabama Medical Center. We've been doing this for five or six years. This is the hub, the nursing station where they provide all the care. We have a, a lab over here to the, the left. Upstairs we have uh, women's services and the administrative portion of this uh, clinic. We hope you've enjoyed this video tour. We've shown you all of the services that East Alabama Medical Center provides in our community, whether it's in Auburn, Opelika, or in Lee County. Uh, as we talked about, about uh, of our 2,500 employees, about two-thirds of them work uh, on the main hospital campus, but the other third work in all the facilities that we've seen today. Uh, hopefully this will give you a little better idea of what all East Alabama Medical Center encompasses and where some of your fellow co-workers might work each and every day.